ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another edition of XGR. I'm your Roll host. Up edition. <laughs> <laughs> I'm your host this week, the Fallen Angel, Kage, whatever you want to call me. Today with us we have Chris, aka the Mole. And hello. <laughs> We have the sad gamer, Richter, the hammer. Hello. Uh, sadly, uh, Stacy couldn't be here with us today. How unfortunate. May she rest in peace. <laughs> <laughs> so, to start off, let's go straight to the news. Who would like to go first? Uh, I'll go first this week. First of all, the negative news for my, for my portion is there's been some negativity towards the DualShock 4 controller for PS4. Basically, it's now come out. You cannot turn the light off, which mm. is the bar that displays the color, whatever, and use for the camera, displays what player you are, etc. And they mentioned... The light bar will always be on, despite the fact it's completely, almost, essentially useless, except for in multiplayer or if you've got the camera. However, as a result, that may drain the battery faster. Boo! Yes, boo. <laughs> now, my first good news is an interview with Famitsu Magazine in Japan. Hopefully I got that right. Miyamoto of Nintendo has said Nintendo is currently working on a brand new Wii U game that is not just a part of Nintendo's existing franchises. Yay. Now, you, upon hearing that, you're going to have one or two responses. You're either going to be like, yes, it's going to be fucking awesome. Or B, you're going to be like, I'm going to wait and see if it's another Wii music fiasco. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm hoping that's a good one. It sounds interesting enough. <laughs> yep. And now my big news for the, for this week, which I've put as my big news because it was my favourite, and I spoke to the Fallen Angel about this earlier. O Zombie or O Zombie developer American McGee has responded to statements from fans and Kickstarter backers and he plans to rename the game and also remove the Alice film rights from its Kickstarter campaign. The plot of this game is Dorothy's great-granddaughter joins forces with Tin Woodman and Lion to battle Scarecrow's mindless army in control of Oz. The game will feature first and foremost a single player, You'll be able to play as Dorothy and be able to pursue many of the captivating fictions, familiar characters such as TikTok and etc. Ozombie will also support optional multiplayer mode, which you can unlock after finishing single player experience. And in multiplayer, you'll be able to select from a range of players and characters to enjoy competitive features like raids and tournaments. Yeah, that Kickstarter is available right now. I highly recommend if you're into Kickstarters and stuff like that, you should fund that because. I'm going to be honest, American McGee, when he did the Alice games, oh my god, American McGee's Alice is fucking awesome. Available now on PS on, P, on PC, or if you go and buy Alice Madness Returns, the sequel, on PS3 or 360, you can download it from PSN. I think that's on sale this week in the US, too. Nice. On PSN. Or it was last week, I don't remember. Some one, It was either last week or this week, it's like four bucks or something for yeah, Alice which, Madness if, Returns. Yeah, which... If you buy Madness Returns, you need to buy the first game, which they made it so you could only play the first game if you had the second one on PS3. Stupid way of doing yeah. it, but it was their version of an online pass at the time. It was EA. But still, you, you need to experience the first game to enjoy the second, but American McGee, he does fucking awesome stuff. I'm done with my news. <laughs> okay, I'll go next, I guess. Um... First up, small bit of news, the game Disgaea D2 has a release date, which is awesome, because I'm definitely looking forward to that. It comes out in the U.S. on October 8th, and a few days earlier, September 27th, actually a week and a half earlier, in the in Europe, which is uh, 
pretty cool. Can't wait for that game. Looks interesting. And next up, another small bit of news. Tales of Zillia 2 has been confirmed for a U.S. release, which is pretty cool considering the first one uh, is coming out at the end of August, so it's still not even out yet. And I'm glad to see another Tales games because I definitely like those. Good uh, good couch co-op games, except based, for... huh? I was going to say, based on the fact Tales was mentioned, and the first game is a little rarer mentioned than some of the other bigger names. Mm-hmm. Rick is back, ladies and gentlemen! <laughs> <laughs> Ah, we yeah. missed you. Yeah. <laughs> Random stuff that only one person has heard about. Oh, man. <laughs> um, yeah, we missed you. Without you, it, we probably would have been discussing this week the new Rambo game that's coming out. Dude, the Rambo arcade game? That thing's pretty cool. Anyway. <laughs> it is. The new Rambo game that is coming out looks shit. His hair looks like a helmet that's been painted on. <laughs> the footage just come out. Check it out. It's hilarious. It's hilarious. <laughs> Uh, another small bit of news. I, this was probably a while ago, but I just heard about it. But the uh, first hyperdimensional Neptunia game—they're doing a re-release of it on Vita. I, it just—it's Japan only for now. But I'm really hoping because I love the concept of that game, but I didn't like how it played. And I'm really hoping that they take the battle system from the second or from the third one and like retrofit it in there, kind of like if. Uh, there was a DS version in Japan only of Xenosaga Episode 1 and 2 where basically instead of the crappy, really, really shitty battle system from Episode 2, they had it the awesome battle system from Episode 1. So I'm hoping they do something similar. And then uh, my last little bit of news that I thought was kind of interesting, whether or not you like them, uh, Lionhead has a contest where you can make an achievement for Fable Anniversary Edition for Xbox 360. So basically, you come up with a title, what you have to do, and then you can suggest an icon. I don't know if you can. It'd be kind of cool if you could actually link a picture, because that's probably what I do. But uh, I want my suggestion hmm? for that would be you need to consume 50 drinks of alcohol as fast as you can. Do whatever that game's like, pop some pills or whatever that game's version of drugs is, and sleep uh-huh. with a shitload of women, and then it pops <laughs> up, ding, winning. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be awesome. Or, uh, like, marry a man and, like, beat him and you get, like, husband beater or something. <laughs> I don't know. Like, I, I've, I've thought of a couple. I, I, I want to actually enter that contest because I think it's kind of funny. And I think you hey. get your name in the credits, which would... I need that in some games somewhere. <laughs> or, or, or the opposite of that. You hit your wife and it comes up in the corner. Battle teacher. <laughs> <laughs> If it was Fable 2, it, it uh, and you like shoot the dog, and it's like Michael Vick honorary achievement. And you're like, oh, too soon. The, descri- the description just says too soon. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh, that was my news. Very nice. Um, well, I've got three pieces because I just went and found a third one. Um, uh, today we got a tweet from Insomniac Games with a poster when worlds collide heroes return how awesome it will be um so i'll probably put the uh, we'll probably put the poster down in the description below um <laughs> um so hopefully it's going to be a ratchet and clank game and hopefully it's good and i i agree but, but, but those posters i believe i linked you to, to them earlier and you, you led me to one of them i i saw it when i first the first one of just the eclipse with yeah when worlds collide and i'll be honest my first thought was i don't give a shit i didn't see who made it made it but i was like i don't give a shit probably for fucking destiny or some other halo like game yeah. and the second one was like a portal with like a stargate thing glowing and shit it's like it's and you it's like you said it's like a hero will return or whatever and suddenly i'm like i'm now interested <laughs> yeah I, I i most people believe it's going to be ratchet and clank with jack that could be cool so Ratchet and Clank, Jack in it edition. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Uh, my second piece of news, 
uh, the 2013 U.S. Pokemon National Championships have just wrapped up in Indiana, in the Indianapolis, Indianapolis, Indiana, one or the other. Um, uh, let's have a look. Um, there was over 3,000 attendees to the um, actual oh, wow. competition, but only 2,100 competed. Um, there were um, four finalists in each division, three divisions in total, juniors, seniors, and masters. Um, and each of them, re- each four in each category, received a travel award to go to Vancouver for the World Championships in August. Right. So that would be good to see. Um, there was competition in the uh, video games as well as uh, the your normal trading card game. Yeah, I was um, going to say, wouldn't that be like horrible to watch? Three thousand show up, and you, like only like three hundred or whatever enter into the actual tournament itself. Because it's a handheld game, wouldn't that be like the worst shit to watch? Because it'll just be people looking at down and typing buttons, <laughs> mentally going "Yay!" Or, <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> and that's why they probably also got the TCG game. So, true, true. They should make um, it compete with the Wii Battle Revelation game, so at least then they could put yeah. on a TV. Well, I actually, uh, uh, when I worked in a game, a video game store, we had a small tournament, and that's what they did, was they used the Battle Revolution. Nice. And I saw one of the yeah. funniest things ever there. Well, to me. <laughs> <laughs> there was this kid, yeah. and he had, I think, two Garchomps. Sorry to run uh, derail this but uh and one did dig and the other did earthquake and he totally killed his own guy and i just i felt so bad for that eight-year-old but i was like dude what are you doing <laughs> yeah, that, that, that that was before richter got fired sadly because a representative battle. came in there from capcom and spoke to him and after they left richter looked at his staff and because you're not gonna believe it what's that they said what the game has won <laughs> so i told them they wanted twilight in devil may cry <laughs> I said Sonic needs more friends. Yeah. <laughs> I told him online passes was genius. <laughs> Do two of them somehow. <laughs> you have to buy a pass to buy the online pass. Yeah. Um. I'm. Yeah. Um. Back to the game. Um. I'm not sure what the rules are because I really couldn't be bothered to go and read this, but it looks like they're only allowed one legendary within their team. Mm. Um, some of them have been using the more recent ones, such as uh, Thunderous and Landorus. But in the junior division, which is surprising, um, because they're born 2002 or later, this kid uses Zapdos. Nice. I'm, I'm happy. A, a young kid used the old Pokemon. So he must be smart. Oh. <laughs> Um, so with the, the, uh, world championships coming up, hopefully it's exciting. I highly doubt it, (laughs) but someone will be happy when they finally win. Um, I think anyone who turned up to the national championship actually received, uh, a special edition, (laughs) a special edition Metagross, uh, that, the champion from the last year used as his main Pokemon, so that was pretty good. Damn, I couldn't do um, But my third piece of news, and this is probably my favorite, we are finally getting DLC for Ultimate Ninja Storm 3, Naruto Shippuden. Bizarre. Its name is Full Burst. Um, we get an ad- and an additional chapter, we get to see Kabuto in his sage form versus Sasuke and revived Itachi. So that will be awesome. Interesting. Um, we get Kabuto in sage mode as a new playable character. Um, we get the director's cut edition. So they're revamping nearly all of Ultimate Ninja Storm 3 cinematics, and it looks awesome. Um, they're introducing 100 new missions and 38 additional costumes. Ooh, wow. um, those who already have the original game 
uh, Namco Bandai Games will be offering the full burst DLC pack. Uh, the game is scheduled for a winter 2013 release, and the price is still to be announced. And cool. All right. Um, I don't have any more news, so let's move along to what we have played this week. If you want to go first, Chris. Uh, okay. I've only played three, uh, sorry, four games this week. Basically, they're not very, three of them aren't very challenging or what people would say hardcore games, but still. I played Little Inferno on Wii. <laughs> That's kind of fun, where you get to drop stuff in, like a fireplace and burn shit. <laughs> it's funny as fuck. Next one was Game & Wario, which was hilarious. And you get to do, like, you, the single-player one, like, there's a cool one with camera where you get to take pictures. A little disappointed by multiplayer, because the best one of multiplayer they had is basically Pictionary. However, I did do enjoy that game, and I do love the picture that you want. <laughs> and it can result in some hilarious stuff. Like, I'm spending ages drawing some guy with, like, a visor on him and lasers coming off him and an axe on his chest and, Chris, and stuff. And I was playing with the Crispy at the time. He's like, I, I don't know, uh, uh, superhero, uh, uh, X-Men. Uh, uh, and he kept going. And eventually he goes, uh, Cyclops. And I was like, yes. And he goes, why the fuck didn't you draw someone with one eye? <laughs> I was like, huh. <clears throat> yeah, in hindsight, that would have been the better. <laughs> but when I saw Cyclops, that's what I drew. <laughs> the next one is, and I had to write this name down, Mighty Switch Force Hyper Drive Edition HD. It's weird. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I streamed that to the Fallen Angel before, and I was, as I was playing it live, streamed it, or whatever you want to call it, to him. Have you seen that game yet, Richter? Uh, I've heard a little bit about it. I haven't actually seen anything on it. It's on the DS, and as well as Wii U. I got the Wii U one, but it's on the DS. Basically, you play as this female little cop. You press buttons to, like, hide blocks or show blocks as, like, puzzle elements. Mm. You're platforming, like, the old Mega Mans and shooting enemies. It's bizarre. It's awesome. And you're doing all this to collect these like cute blonde little female prisoners when you've got five of them a giant mech lands down opens up and you jump inside and that ends the level nice which it's cool it's a little short but it's cool it was on sale so i got it and my last one was i've been playing the infinite crisis beta on pc this is essentially one of those battle arena games like the like i think most people said it's basically is it league of legends the game probably it's a moba yeah okay it, it's basically league of legends with with a dc paint job mm. that's why ironically a load of the fans on the forum are asking fans to b download for free league of legends because unlike this one that has a tutorial so you'll know how to play this <laughs> game <laughs> <laughs> because I'll be honest, I played this. I don't play like you said with MOBAs. I don't play them often. Last one I tried to play was the Lord of the Rings one. Wasn't that fussed on it? Uh, I don't play them often. I was playing this one because it's DC. I'm a comic fan. I first time when I was playing through it, I didn't know how to do anything, and the game just didn't tell me anything at all. I had to figure out. Okay, now I'm figuring out how to move. Now how do I attack? Okay, I can do this. Now how do I do these other attacks? And I, I eventually figured out I had to level them up in order to use them, mm. and all this other stuff. But when I figured it out, I went through it again as a different character, and it was fun as fuck. I, because you get credits for the beta and stuff. I, I've got Poison Ivy. I got her first, and I got when I got I when I got her costume to make a classic Ivy. I got Wonder Woman. I think I got one of the Batman. I think that's the Batman I got. I got Monster Batman, the one with like the fangs, the vampire Batman. It's awesome. And there's shitloads of characters in there. There's going to be more when the game launches from various points in the DC continuity where you go through as a group of them to just take out a group of other ones. It, it's fun. Is it um, like League of Legends where it's kind of like a StarCraft view or is it more behind the character? No, it's like the, oh, like the top-down view. Okay. 
which it works and it's better oh. that in my opinion it's better that way because I know for a fact this PC I'm not gonna say a brag and shit like some people would with oh yeah these are the specs of this computer yeah I got it a couple of years ago a couple of years ago it was relevant enough to play the latest games nowadays a couple of years later the latest games not so much you won't play all of them it plays this one because it doesn't focus on graphics which that's cool I like that means there's going to be more people to play with. Uh, that, that, that was all I've played this week, by the way. Really? I, I, I didn't know we were covering that section this yet. I thought we were covering what we've played this week. Yeah, I thought so. Because you introduced me as, okay, I haven't played anything this week. <laughs> Do you want to go first, I, Mole? I, I was being sarcastic. Oh, okay. <laughs> Um, well, I actually haven't played anything this week, surprisingly. I was considering finally finishing Skylanders today (laughs) after this, so we'll see how that goes. I'll probably have every Skylander I own to actually get the job done. Even though it is a kid's game, it is fucking tough. Yeah, that scares me, because I think that's the last level my son and I have left, and we only have one of each element, so that probably won't go well. (laughs) I'm going to laugh well, if you and your son defeat it first try. <laughs> yeah. But um, it probably also depends on like the levels of your Skylanders. Because yeah. like, I use one or two main ones, mm. and the rest are like level two or three. Gotcha. Yeah, I, I, I usually I'm use like... two, and then my son switches like every other one. Because... <laughs> <laughs> um, I, my main one that I use is Trigger Happy, because he's fully maxed out. He's got all these power ups and everything. Oh, is it? Awesome. I like him. Oh, oh, is it regular Skylanders you're completing? Yeah, regular Skylanders. Sorry, I thought, been... you, I, I thought you were still on Giants, so I was like, I thought you were going to complete Giants next. No, I, um, I finished Giants. Giant, the Giants final chapter was the easiest of all the chapters. <laughs> oh, wow. But now I've got to try it in a more difficult level because I think I was doing it on the easiest. So that'll be interesting to see. Nice. <sighs> Hopefully, so, yeah, Disney Infinity is not that way. <laughs> yeah. It, yeah. Well, every, everyone should go check out tribalwars.net. That's what they should do. That's what I've mainly been playing. It's an it's an online strategy game, basically. So everyone should go play that. Bizarre. Bizarre. That that was the sound of us all rushing to play it. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> well, it, it has lost a lot of members over the years, but um, some of them, like, the, it's been around for seven years now. Oh, wow. Um and I've been there since the start, on and off. So, yeah, to be f- it's an interesting game, and you meet a lot of good people through it. So, to be fair, it's always fun to check out. Yeah, and like I said, to be fair, like you said, you can meet some great people there, have fun, and it may lose a lot of members over years or whatever, but it's still something to bring you together based on your beliefs and shit. That yeah. that's what that's why I love the Ku Klux Klux Klan. <laughs> 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 Jesus Christ! <laughs> yeah. Okay, so oh, what you, have you? Sh- you should have been there when you should have been there when all of us KKK members were playing our Pokemon fight. Oh boy, it was awesome. <laughs> you you all had Ghost Pokemon. We did. <laughs> <laughs> I've got well, an Umbreon. Get it out. <laughs> yeah, w- yeah, one of them tried showing up as Magichop, and we were like, there's a traitor among us. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so what have you played this week, Rico? Alright, uh, first up, the wife and I played a little bit of the of Borderlands 2, because we were playing the latest DLC, the Tiny Tina's Assault on Dragon Keep, which is actually pretty good, and I, I love like references in games 
and movies and crap. And this has a ton of them to lots of just, you know, like the nerdy side, as I would say. So, like, lots of references to other sci-fi and fantasy stuff and video games. And I don't know. It was, it was pretty fun. Uh, then, uh, before I left on my trip, so this was a week and a half ago, I attempted, I, I resolved I was going to finish off Assassin's Creed Revelations. Now, uh, <laughs> <coughs> um, hmm. so uh, I, I apologize if you're a fan of that. But uh, I got, like, I don't know, maybe halfway through that game. And, um, oh, spoilers, by the way. And I got to the part where uh, Altair's wife gets stabbed, and I was just sitting there, like, yelling at the screen. Like, I was like, this is so stupid. Like, I can't even believe it. And I just, like, I just stopped playing it. <laughs> like, I was like, I don't think I can finish this. I, so I'm going to. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. Like, that I actually finished, and I, I only, like,. I only yelled at it because I hate the final mission of Brotherhood, and then like the end, I felt like they only did that for shock value. And then I was like, well, let's see where that goes. And I don't even think I don't know if they touch it in Revelations because he's like in a coma or whatever. So I'm see, still for me, yeah. Uh, for me, Brotherhood was just boring. It wasn't so much as it was a what the fuck thing. Yeah. The one that was that for me was the ending of Assassin's Creed Two. I'm still like that's fucking Michael Bay territory right there. <laughs> that's like. I mean, hell, it's not just Michael Bay. It's what if Michael Bay and M. Night Shyamalan had a love child? Ah. It would be the guy that decides to make the twist where everything turns out to be fucking aliens. <laughs> I'm not saying it's aliens, but aliens. <laughs> but, uh, like, I, I am still actually willing to play Assassin's Creed 3. Because if I remember correctly, uh, the original team that made 1 and 2 basically made 3. And uh, during the two years where they were working on or whatever, like some other team made Brotherhood and Revelations. So I'm I'm willing to try three, but that should, should I go back uh, over the XGR archives and find no, one, I, like I know one that, of the many many past yeah, ones where Stacey's complained and just digitally <clears throat> insert her into this conversation? But did she did she play the other ones though? Because I know Jim uh, didn't like yes. three, but he didn't play any other ones, so. Yes, she's played one, two, three. She played one, two, Brotherhood, Revelations, and okay. this one. Okay. Yeah. Um, I've almost got Brotherhood 100% complete. Oh wow! I've got, I've finished Revelations. Um, it wasn't too bad, but still, it could have been better. Okay. Um, and I'm, I'm like, I think three quarters of the way through. Uh, Assassin's Creed 3 but it is starting to get a bit monotonous uh, <laughs> it's like it's like I'm going to say something people don't say with the Assassin's Creed mm-hmm. I preferred the assassin from the first game I did too yeah I thought, yeah. yeah, he was awesome that's why I was sad uh, the parts I played him in, in Revelations I was like what is you know like those parts just weren't fun the ones I did yeah <clears throat> I, pref- I, I preferred him because unlike the other one, like in two, what what the hell was his name? Ezio or something. Yeah. yeah, and Altair was like basically he was fucking Batman. He was like boom, coming from the shadows. He was coming down. He was, ah, assassinating people. Whereas Ezio was uh, or whatever the fuck he's called was like, look at me, I'm prancing along a rooftop looking for girls. <laughs> oh, look how wonderful I am! And I'm like, I don't want that. I want my assassins to be assassiny. Yeah. No, I mean, yeah, but, that's, turn, that, but still. that's why you have your assassins call. You can call on your assassins to do your dirty work for you. Those are awesome just because Arrow Storm. Like, I love that one. It was like a guard's Arrow. like, hey, look at that guy. I'm like, whatever, hold the button, just da 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 and they all die. And I'm like, that's right. And I just call, calmly walk away. <laughs> yeah. yeah <clears throat> like, I don't know what happened. They just got littered with arrows. Uh-huh. Yeah. Well, um, <laughs> he I'm slipped and fell onto some out. Yeah. And I think um, Assassin's Creed 4 is being highly anticipated to be a really good game by most people because they're focusing so much on the um, naval battles. Mm. And that is going to be awesome. (laughs) Yeah, I heard the ship battles were the best part of the third game. So it was cool that they've gone and done that with the pirate theme at the fourth one. And while I'm still, while Brotherhood put me off the series and I'm one of those, I want to play the entire series and if yeah, well, one the, puts me off they all do yeah i still appreciate the, the fact people like them so it's cool it sounds like yeah. a good game 
Yeah. Well, like, the funny thing is that the assassin in number four is number three's granddad. Oh, really? Until you played a DLC for Assassin's Creed 3 in which he goes back in time and becomes his own granddad. Whoa. Assassinception. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and the uh, last game I played this week is a 3DS title called Project Cross Zone. And holy crap, dude, I love that game. That is so fun. Um, if you don't know, they basically took a handful of characters from Capcom, Namco, and Sega and just crammed them all together. And it's, I really like, there's tons of references in it. Like the, the stage I'm at now, I'm at the House of the Dead. No, not that one. <laughs> I'm at the House of the Dead and I have the guy from Zombie Revenge teamed with uh, Chris and Jill from Resident Evil. And I'm like, this is a lot of zombie killing right here. And I recently got Mega Man X and Zero, which is awesome. And uh, I'm sure Chris will appreciate this. Uh, you get Frank West in the game. <clears throat> and early on, I think he's awesome because... He keeps asking to take pictures of the girls, and uh, nice. when he does, uh, like he'll take a picture, and then it has it gives the erotica bonus on their on like their uh, their chests and stuff. It's just hilarious. <laughs> I'm nice. like, oh, I remember he said that one was missing from two. It's it's here. <laughs> yeah, and ironically, <clears throat> apparently that game's been selling so well. I think it was in the UK charts last week. Oh wow, yeah, I really like it. I mean, I know I've read that some people like didn't like it, but I love the combat because it's a lot like Namco Cross Capcom where you get a couple different attacks, which are, you know, a lot of the characters, their signature attacks, and they'll do a several in a row, like a mini combo, and then you have to chain them together, and you can do super moves. And thankfully, uh, Chris from Resident Evil 5 does have his uppercut as one is in one of his combos. <laughs> and it's good Jill, too. It's the brunette one, not the blonde nonsense and it's Dante from Devil May Cry 4, not the stupid emo-looking Dante, and not Bondage Dante from 3. It's the one from 4, so it's awesome. Everyone likes Bondage. <laughs> I didn't like that Dante, though, like with the, the like nipple strap from 3. I did not like that design. Oh, but come on. It's like the song. Sticks and stones may break my bones, but whips and chains excite me. <laughs> Rihanna, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> that's sung by a white English yeah. guy <laughs> but yeah I'm, I'm just loving that game so far uh, I, I wanted to play it more when I was uh, on my trip but since I was doing most of the driving I couldn't and unfortunately the 3DS it's hard to see outside maybe I have to turn up the brightness settings but oh man I just like kept playing it and sometimes you know I have a couple minutes and I'm like eh, let's just open this up you know and just do some more battles and it's it's pretty cool it's not like perfect or anything but oh my god i love that game it's so fun okay that's that's what i've played this week cool (laughs) all right now it's time to move on to the discussion uh, what is our discussion topic in this week? It's free to play MMOs. There we go. Yeah. Let's begin. <laughs> and uh, okay, I'll begin <laughs> since no one else was. I like free to play MMOs. I can see the appeal behind them. There's some I don't like, like I don't like it if it was subscription, then goes free to play in a way that hurts the subscribers, don't like that. And I don't like pay to win. Mm. If it's free to play, be free to play, don't be pay to win. Yeah. Huzzah. Well, I don't like it when, uh, like I know that you know when it's free to play, a lot of times they want to make money off the microtransactions. I'm okay with that. When they really, like beat you over the head with it that's when i hate it when uh i was reading this article where this guy was playing one and literally like every treasure chest you had to pay real money for a key to unlock it mm-hmm. and i'm just like dude that would make me stop right there like <laughs> like that kind of stuff i don't like if it's you know where you can play you know most of the game and it's just like extra characters or you know outfits or whatever like stuff that you might actually want to spend some money on i'm okay with that but if it's something crazy like oh well you could complete this quest but you got to 
you know, you can only do three per day unless you spend. It's like I don't want to play that. I got other stuff that I can play. Yeah, I also hate the <coughs> man- mentality, if you will, of some of the people that play them, where their normal, typical response by most of the more fanboyish ones of whatever the free to play game is is it's free you shouldn't complain (laughs) about any of the glitches or problems it's like yes it's free however they're making money somehow yeah it's not like they've just decided that hey you know what'd be great what's that let's piss away our money in a way to give gamers a good game yeah no one does that if it's they either do microtransactions to make money like Richter pointed out, or they do the pay-to-play, or advertisements, or there's something there to make money. Yeah. And it's like people say, well, it's free, you shouldn't complain. Ah, but if I, if it's pay-to-win, or if it's one where I've pl- paid for characters, I've still paid for that game. Yeah. It's like Marvel Heroes, which is out. I've paid real money to buy heroes. Because I paid real money to unlock Spider-Man, Hulk, and a couple of others. Which, technically speaking, with how much I paid for it, I've almost paid for as much as if I'd bought an existing game. True. That's why I think Defiance is a good one. What are the you... microtransactions for that? <laughs> is it just cosmetic stuff? or The microtransactions in that, and there's also DLC. Microtransactions... In that game are mainly cosmetic, like new coloured bikes and stuff. Mm. But you can also buy XP boosts. You can also buy stuff to help you unlock other stuff. You get lockboxes too, right? Exactly. You can buy some lockboxes with it and stuff like that. But you can, uh, as we can, as I can point out, as I know the Crispy's one of these. He's played the entire game without buying the DLC without having to buy any of the microtransactions and stuff and he still managed to play it and win it's just the stuff's there for if you want it I mean obviously they're going to be bringing out DLC with extra missions and stuff right. like that for people to buy but as of right now you buy, you buy, buy the game you put it in you put you put it in PS3 you play it or your PC or whatever you're playing on you put it in and you can play the entire game without ever having to pay a single fee which, that's kind of cool. I like that. Yeah, that's what I like. Because honestly, if I like a game, sometimes I'll throw, you know, I'll, I'll spend a couple extra bucks for like a, a costume or something like that. But, you know, the, I, I like it when it's my choice. Like I buy the game and, you know, that sounds really cool. That you can play through the whole thing and you don't have to buy it. I, I prefer that. Exactly. It's like it's like I said with the Marvel heroes. Apparently you can play through the game and it may take you ages. I don't know how long it takes Apparently, it varies from what people say as a percentage or something, but mm. you could play through the entire game and get drops of new heroes and characters and stuff like that. Cool. I figured, I, I enjoyed the game, I'm going to pay to support it, and at the same time get the characters I want. Yeah. Why not? But it was, like you said, it was my choice. <coughs> I wasn't being forced to do that. Like, yeah. Yeah, you need to do this or you can't beat this game. Yeah, for the... Um... Real quickly, going back to the, you know, when a free play goes, or a subscription one goes free play, that uh, I always touted this, that I think the best one I've seen do that, where they don't alienate everyone, uh, to me, was City of Heroes, which is sadly no longer available. But, um... I did enjoy that Champions. Uh, okay. (laughs) I liked City of Heroes, City of Villains, and I love Champions more. That's fine. Like I, I can't. I've never gotten out of the tutorial on Champions, but that's a different story. But for, uh, but for City of Heroes and stuff, I when they went to free play, a I loved it because I did really like playing that game, and you know, but I couldn't afford to play it at, like for subscription and stuff anymore. And but I, you know, and then also I could play with my wife because we had actually schedules where we would be allowed to play it where before I couldn't because it you know be like thirty bucks a month versus fifteen. But anyway. Uh, what I liked about their uh, free to play or when they went over was that you there were perks that you got if you were subscribed. You could also technically pay money to get tokens to unlock the perks, and that's you know in a lot of ways I'm okay with that because if they're gonna throw like four hundred dollars at it for whatever reason, okay, fine. But there was still stuff that you could literally only get as a subscriber, which was awesome. But um, 
what what I liked was that it, the longer you had paid time on it, you actually got those tokens so you could unlock stuff. So even though, you know, there was technically two character classes or actually four that you could either pay to unlock or you could unlock with the tokens because I had subscribed for like three and a half years. I had enough tokens that I could just get them so I could play all my characters. And I thought that was really cool that if you that they rewarded you for actually having subscribed time where it wasn't just like a switch like, oh, you don't subscribe anymore. You get nothing. You actually got credit for the time that you subscribed, which I think is an awesome idea. I can agree with that. It's like I credited it before, and I know some people who listen to this or on the, our site enjoy it, but the worst one for me was DC. Mm. The second when they went free to play, there was a reason a lot of people left. <laughs> they just did so many stupid decisions, <coughs> like adding crafting, which we were told when the game first came out and all the stuff, yeah, we're, we're making this game for you, the subscriber, blah, 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 blah. But it's not going to be crafting. They then bring out crafting. It's like, ugh. <laughs> and just, it seemed like if you subscribed, yeah, you got a couple of little bonuses over existing members, but not enough. It was like they, it was like they made it, and they even, they've even recently tailored it so that they've made it easier for the free-to-play players to get more stuff. mm and I don't agree with that because it's like, well, the subscribers, not only did they subscribe for years and fund your game, they also had to jump through hoops to get this fucking thing. Yeah. Well, with the with the other, with that and the other Sony games, uh, the one thing I do like about when they went to free play was that they had like a tier structure where if you paid money, like you could actually get more stuff. The problem for me was the how unbalanced it was it's like free play what was it like two characters you got and like the money cap was like i think at 1500 and then if you paid a couple bucks it's like oh you get more characters and a little bit of a money increase but it like like you know like so if, if free play was like next to nothing and then you pay a little bit you get almost next to nothing and then the subscribers got like you know you know unlimited i don't know if it's unlimited characters but you know unlimited money cap and all, like it didn't feel like a middle ground the the middle tier if that makes sense like it felt really close to the end <laughs> it's like you know it's like your money cap goes from 15 to 2000 1500 to 2000 like that's not that much <laughs> no it's not but yeah i sadly never played that one of subscription so i i can imagine why those you know i i've heard complaints so i can i can agree with why the, yeah. a lot of the people were pissed off i love that one of subscription <laughs> To the point where I still have, before it was even downloadable game, right down my shelf, I still have the DC Universe online game in its box for the PSC. I bought it day one, put that in, subscribed. I fucking loved that Max. That was a fucking plant guy. It was awesome. <laughs> but how about you, Fallen Angel? You've been quiet on MMOs. Um, I think the... Oh, considering I've only really played one. Technically, um, you played two. Isn't that game you were telling us to go and subs- play? Isn't that technically a game where you're competing against shitloads of people online? Eh, technically. Um, but the first one I started on, of course, was RuneScape. The biggest game at that time. Because WoW was sort of sitting over in the back corner. <laughs> Um, over the years, um, I think RuneScape has grown a lot, but it's also pushed away a lot of people, um, because I, I think it was, uh, 2006, after 2006, RuneScape just went, (laughs) um, it lost a lot of members, it lost lots um i do have to say though um the one thing that i love about runescape is the graphical overhaul they've done in recent years some of the overhauls they've done have been absolutely brilliant but then there's all the other stuff that a lot of fans don't like so they've left they and there's a lot less money going into runescape now Mm. Um, like I've been a member for the past little while, but I finally cancelled it because I never got time to play it. Um, 
but there's just so many new things in the game that don't need to be there. Um, but graphically wise, it looks ten times better than it did, say, a year or two ago. Um, so if hopefully they keep up with their graphical overhauls because um, it's looking really good. Makes sense. Makes sense. I I got a new I got a new free to play MMO yesterday or the day before. Mm-hmm. I've not been able to play it yet. I got a game. Have you heard of it called Forsaken World? God, that sounds familiar. I might have seen ads for it. <laughs> if that makes sense. You may have if you played Star Trek Online because it's made by the same people and want to do champions and stuff. Mm. My problem with it. And I can try right now while we're talking, but my problem with it is when I, I I click I click go to play it, it loads up. Cool. I then go to enter my account name and my password, and it says sorry, incorrect. Now people are probably thinking, well, maybe you just entered the incorrect one. I go to their web page. I enter the same details. I log in straight away. <laughs> So you can imagine my frustration, and the reason I chose that one is it looks like World of Warcraft, mm-hmm. but they have a vampire class. Mm. I've been wanting an MMO where I can walk around as a vampire for ages. <laughs> <laughs> well, for another thing I really like about free-to-play MMOs is that you can try them. You know, like, they're... Cause there are a lot of MO, MMOs that come out where I'm like, that looks kind of interesting, but I don't want to spend the, you know, like 50 bucks or whatever uh, to actually try it when it first comes out. And I'm like, I don't know. Because uh, things like Rift and Terra, those look pretty cool, but I wasn't going to spend the money to try them. So I was glad when they went free play so I could actually try them. And uh, what, Terra, Terra, like, I want that to like that one, but it runs like such crap on my computer <laughs> that I can't really play it. But that's another thing you can find out if your uh, computer can play it. Yep. And nope, I tried it again. It says, wrong password or account. Please <laughs> enter your email address if it's your uh, account. If you use a third account, please click the prop below button. If you if disconnected, please log back into the server. What? <laughs> I don't know what this means. Why won't you let me play it? I'm going to have to uninstall that crap. <laughs> wow. But like I said, I wanted it because, like I said, Vampire MMO, awesome. <sighs> I miss being able to play games. <laughs> and kind of off topic, but like I mentioned the other day, I miss the old gig. I miss the old days of gaming. I miss when I could buy a game on SNES or Mega Drive, plug or on the NES if you want to go even further. I loved it when you could plug them in, sit down, and you could play them, and that was yes. it. I, I didn't. Ha- I didn't have to wait. I didn't have to wait three months for them to decide to then release part of the game to then charge me extra money for it. I didn't have to wait for it to be patched. I didn't have to put up with fucking updates and all this crap. I just <coughs> played the game. That was it. Yeah. It's one of the reasons I prefer consoles to PCs is I buy, I go to a shop I don't know much when it comes to the specs of PCs and I'm like, this game looks awesome but can I play it? Whereas if I go yeah. in and I look at PS3 I'm like, this game looks awesome. I have a PS3. Cool. That's <laughs> one reason I totally love console gaming. I don't have to look at a laundry list and like Cross reference if I can play like it says it says PS3 on the side it'll work in my PS3 if it doesn't it's not my fault it's the, like something's wrong with the system you know it's not like exactly. oh you, you didn't buy the PS3 slim model that you know none of that shit exactly it makes it easier which yeah like like you said that's the cool thing with M- free to play MMOs you get something similar where you can yeah. download it for free and at least say hey does this work yeah. But still, <laughs> it's uh, some. Uh, I'll admit, some free-to-play MMOs. When we talk about free-to-play MMOs, I think we're all talking about the same type as a rule. 
we're talking about like the Star Trek one that's come out that James and Jeff love, which fair enough to them. And same thing with like the Champions or City of Heroes or whatever. What we're not talking about is ones where you get like this is a free to play MMO and everything's like a dead tiny like flat 2D fucking pixel. You're just walking around doing <laughs> fuck all except for like experiencing lag. You know which ones I'm on about. Everyone's seen them. Yeah. Yeah, those are definitely not fun. So how about you, Fun Angel? Any free-to-play MMOs coming out that you're excited for? And I'm excited for... Not really. Not None that I can think of. I haven't really looked too much into them. Fair enough. At, at, the, <laughs> at the moment, I'm only really concerned about um, all the games I've put on pre-order for October. Not even concerned about Disney Infinity? Oh, it's on pre-order. It's just not for October. Exactly. <laughs> we need to be playing that together. How about yeah. you, Rick? How about you, Rick? There are any free-to-play MMOs coming out that you're excited for? He says, waiting for the obvious answer. Oh, boy. Uh, yes, The uh, strangely enough, I had forgotten until uh, a minute ago, but um, Fantasy Star Online 2. That, that, that was not my obvious answer. I know, but, okay. but that's that's the one I could think of. But Because uh, I, I tried that at PAX last year, and that was awesome. And you can use a controller, so you could play it, like, legit. But, <laughs> yeah, that's right, I said it. But um, the problem is that that one, as far as I know, it's free to play. But I'd love to play the Vita version. The problem is I doubt that'll be free to play. That'll probably be, like, you know, 40 bucks for the cartridge. And it's like, hmm, that's kind of a weird disconnect. But uh, I still might want it, though, just... <laughs> The, the one I was excited for, uh-huh. Transformers Universe. Mm, is that the one you thought I'd pick? Yes. <laughs> they need to get off their ass and actually make that game. It, yeah. I mean, I'm not, not saying that sat on their ass just being like, oh, what are we going to do today? I mean, I know they're actually putting effort into it, but come on. It was announced the same time as a load of other ones that have recently come out. Yeah. Well, isn't that one's more competitive based, though, isn't it? That's what it sounded like, so I was kind of... It might be, but I don't know. But yeah, I'd, I'd well, I haven't. I've seen like a little bit on that one, and um, uh, I mean, like the designs look kind of cool, but they're still kind of like Bayverse, so it's not my favorite. But I, I would, when that's closer to release, I will definitely look forward to like you know getting all information and checking out like yeah. I don't know if they're gonna be classes, probably just vehicle type, but you know like checking out all that stuff. And I'm pretty sure Marcus will be like, I'm gonna be a sniper, and then he won't be able to hit anything. <laughs> Because he doesn't listen to these, so I can make fun of him. <laughs> I'm a uh, sniper. Damn it. Click. Bow. Damn it. <laughs> uh, my choice will be plain. I don't care what kind of type of class they make the plane. I want to be plain. That would be awesome. Yeah, hopefully they have helicopters. Those are pretty cool. But, see, like I said, that, that's the reason I picked that. You, you'd be able to help us out, Victor. Is there any MMO that's out there where you can play as a vampire? That I know of? Um, the only one I can think of is... I don't, know, I don't know if this is Vampire, but there was one called The Secret World, but you have to pay once for it. Oh, yeah, that game. A lot of people like that one, but I... And I want to say they, they thought it was cool because it has, I think, freeform character progression. Kind of like Skyrim, where you can just kind of buy whatever skills you want. I don't remember, though. Oh, okay, I don't know if you could play as a vampire in that. And the only one I could think of offhand that I this could be totally wrong. I want to say maybe there was a vampire class in uh, uh, what was it called? Dayok. Uh, Dark Age of Camelot. Maybe. I suppose I'm probably going to have to wait for fucking Skyrim online. <laughs> probably, yeah. But, yeah, <clears throat> just going... It's like it says here. This, get, this particular like, that's secret world. No <laughs> classes. No levels. Total freedom. Hmm. You get to choose your own powers, and it goes through various stuff, and it looks cool as fuck. It's just I didn't want to spend twenty five to know that it didn't work. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's I honestly I I have the opinion that for MMOs they should 
be like the game itself should it, to me should in essence be free so like it like let's say wow if or a or nominal fee so let's say a, a month of wow is you know 15 bucks i feel that the base game when it comes out should be 20 you're paying a little bit for the packaging and whatnot and you're basically paying for the first month you know because they're really trying to get you with the subscription for the at least for the subscription one so for free play mmos i you know i think that's kind of like the better model in a lot of ways to me to to be fair they kind of do what you just said do they now most of the time when you buy an mmo and you buy it for in the box or whatever, it comes free with like a month subscription or yeah, but, six free but months still subscription. Like, they're still like fifty bu- forty, fifty bucks though. Where I'd that is, true. That that is were, also true. Yeah, I'd I'd prefer that they were like either at a month or just above. But that's that's one reason I like free play because it's you know you kind of get to try it first and something like Secret World that sounds cool. I'd want to try it. I doubt my computer could run it, but you know I'd really really want to try that and. You know, it's like, yeah, that, I don't want to spend like, 40 to try, you know? <laughs> yeah, that's why I'm tempted to go to that site, canirunit.com. Yeah. That's a, that's, a, that's, a, that's a game changer for me. Yeah, I know. I... I did that. <laughs> <laughs> but I think we've we've used up this topic, this topic for now. I think so. But that was fun. Kage, well, did you want to do our outros? Oh, I'm on. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, this has been another episode of XGR. In the Today morning. we've had Chris the Mole. And thank you. We've had Rick in the Hammer. Thank you. And myself, Kage, Fallen Angel, whatever it is you wish to call me. So until next time, peace out, motherfuckers.